If you think that a S Pen is just another stylus and most people won't appreciate it or use it often enough, but with next level power of the Galaxy Note series, there is a lot more you can do. Well, I'm about to show you 12 very practical uses for S Pen that you could use every day. Hi guys, this is your super user and let's start with 12 most practical uses of S Pen. If in case you don't want to open the notification and just check what it is about, you can simply use the S Pen Air Actions and read the pop-up messages without opening it. This works almost everywhere, for example in the gallery and other apps. Sometimes we have to copy a number or a code number from messages to other apps. For example, I have a screenshot here with codes which we want to copy in other related apps, so to copy that is a task. We have to write it down somewhere, but with S Pen, we can simply press the button on the S Pen and tap Smart Select. Then cut a portion and we can pin it on the screen or simply we can extract the text. Press the S button, select the code and you are ready to paste code in whichever app you wish to. Or if you want to type the number or code, you can pin it to the screen and type it for yourself by looking at the code. Next is useful if you like noting down stuff on the calendar. May it be the past event or something that is coming up. There are two ways to go for it. First, click the button on the S Pen to open the Air command menu. Tap on the right on calendar. And as you can see, I have added certain items. Please don't mind my handwriting is terrible. Well, I'll show you adding one more. So if I have a party on 26, simply tap on the pen icon and you can start writing. And once done, you can tap on save to save it to your calendar. But if you want to remove an item or erase it, you can tap on the eraser icon and start erasing in two ways. One is a stroke eraser and the other is you can select to erase by area. Then if you want to copy this handwritten stuff, we have the selection tool using lasso and rectangle tool. If I select a rectangle and if I select this entry, it will give me a bunch of things to do with this text. Now this of course looks messy. If you want to see only the calendar without all the written stuff, you can go to the menu on the top and disable show handwriting and this will clear off the calendar. But do you want your written stuff back, you can simply tap on the right icon here and boom, it's back. Now coming to the camera, you can use S Pen as a remote control to click pictures. You can always use it while taking a family or a group photo as the S Pen is Bluetooth connected to the phone. As you can see, I'm trying to take a still of this Lego toy and when I single press the button on S Pen, it takes a picture and pressing the button twice will switch to the front camera. Now this feature was also there in Note 9 and it is continued in Note 10 series. This is Note 10 Lite but if you are using Note 10 you can also use S Pen further by rotating the S Pen this way with a button pressed and it will zoom the view and rotating it anti-clockwise will unzoom the view. If you move the S Pen horizontally it will switch between camera modes. If it is moved vertically it will switch cameras in Note 10. The most common use of S Pen is to take down a note. For example, if I have something to note here, I'll write an important note and point 0.1, point 0.2 for an instance. Here I have a lot of options to note down in terms of different types of pen. First is fountain pen, then calligraphy pen, then this is just a pen, then a pencil, then we have a calligraphy brush and a highlighter. And all pens can be used in different sizes. Using a highlighter in large size and it just highlights anything below it. Again, you can change the color. You can make good colorful notes. Then below here, you can easily convert the note to text if you need to copy that. Well, then you have this selection tool. If you want to select or copy on a particular set of text, this A will pop up the color and the size of the font selection menu. Then we can also change the background of the current note and save it. I personally like the next S Pen feature and find it very useful. Here I have noted down a detail of the person and a couple of numbers to be calculated. Now if I hover over the number and tap on the calculator icon, 
it opens on the calculator and displays the answer. Then if I hover on the email and tap on the shortcut that appears, I can quickly send an email from any email account that I have. If I hover over any web address and again tap on the small icon here, it will take me straight to the YouTube application and right to my channel. Then similarly, if I hover on the phone number and tap on the phone icon, it takes me to the dialer and I can immediately call the number. Now to add this details to my contacts, I tap on the background. So this will go into the editable text. I get the menu below and I'll select this icon convert to text. And then we can hold on the S Pen button and select the name, copy that, then select email address, copy that. Then select the web address, copy that. Then select the phone number and copy that. Now I'll go to the add new contacts. Tap on the name, then tap on the clipboard. Then select the name. Then I'll go on the phone number, select the phone number from the clipboard. Then the same way the email address and last for the web address, I'll go to more then website again tap on clipboard and select the web address and then save the contact. Now next is, as you can see, if I press and hold the button on the S Pen, it opens my favorite app. If you want to change the favorite app, you can go to the settings, advanced features, S Pen, air actions, hold down the pen button and you can select any app you want. For instance, I'll change to camera app. Now if I press and hold the button, as you can see, camera opens. Next, we can make a to-do list which we can set on on-screen display. For that, just remove the S Pen and start writing on the to-do task. I'll show you an example. Once I have my to-do list, I can tap on the pin icon above and then on the pin to always on display and it's going to pin that list on my always on display. So now whenever I pull out my phone, this will show up. Then what I'll do is double tap on this and strike out what I'm done with and again tap on the pin for the remaining task. Once I'm done with the complete list, I can double tap that X icon here that will unpin it from always on display. Next we have the screen right where we can capture any part of the screen, mark and send. For example, I want to send this screen. I'll tap on the button on the S Pen, select screen right and it will capture the current screen. Then you have various options over here. You can crop the image, mark with any pen you want and share it with any available options. Next tip is for someone who uses glasses for reading. Now if you get a notification and your glasses are not on, but with S Pen, you can go to the air command menu, then select the magnify from the options. Then you can hover your S Pen on anything that you want a magnified view of. And if you feel you still strive to read, you can increase the magnification by up to 300%. Now as you can see, you can get a huge magnified view. To close magnify, simply tap on the X icon. Next feature can wake up your inner artist. S Pen gives you free hand to draw your imagination. For that you can go to the air command view and select pen up and here you can see what others have posted their artwork with S Pen. Now to try your own hand at it, you can tap on the plus sign and select drawing. You can draw your heart out. We have various pen options like watercolor brush oil pen brush, calligraphy brush, pencil, tilt pencil, smudge brush, airbrush, marker pen and crayon and all these pens can be used in various sizes and you can draw any sort of drawing with S Pen. Well Pen Up also has something for children who like to fill up colors in bunch of ready drawing in coloring. If I choose some drawing to color and tap on start coloring, I can color using the color and pen I like. Now next is not a trick but it is something that you should know and it is very important as well. 
because after you do so much of activity with your S Pen, it is quite possible for you to keep your S Pen somewhere and walk away without it. Now what happens is your Note 10 Lite will give you an alert. Like let me just show you by taking away the phone from S Pen. So here as you can see it will vibrate and show insert your S Pen into your phone. This way you will not miss your S Pen. It's just that your pen proximity alert should be on in the S Pen settings. So this is all for now. I really hope you liked all the features that I showed you in this video. If you did, do give this video a thumbs up. Let me know which is your favorite feature in the comments below. Or if there is any good feature that you think I missed, write that down in the comments as well. Share this video to the friends and family who own the Galaxy Note series. And do subscribe to your super user for more such videos. Bye bye for now and I'll see you in the next one.